Back by popular request, the rock band Marillion. Good evening. It began as a little shop. Welcome back. When my next guests last appeared on the show, we received a big mailbag, wanting them on the show again. They're the most popular exponents of progressive rock since Genesis and consistently top the charts and pack out venues right across Europe. Marillion's new album, Made Again, a recording of live concerts in London, Paris and Rotterdam, has just gone on sale. They joined me on Tuesday with their lead singer, Steve Hogarth. These fans of yours really take a lot, of that, a lot out of you. You've got to keep on travelling, keep on moving, keep on giving concerts right around Europe because of your fans, millions of them out mm -hmm. there. Well, they're worth it. They are worth it. Um, we're uh, one of those bands that's managed to keep going because of them. Um, we're not one of those bands that's all over the radio or all over TV all the time. Um, we're not the latest Britpop uh, fashion um, craze. Um, we exist because they're there. Uh, we exist because they believe in us. And we try to bear in mind that fact every time we, we write. And, um, you know, and, and, and be honest and true and, and, and live up to the faith they've got in us. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, it, it can wear you out a bit uh, to be, uh, you know, too much love is, is definitely not good for you. Um, but um, they, are, they, they are worth it and, uh, you know, there's, there's no better way to live, I don't, I don't think, you know. Well, you're looking good on it all. I know, and I know, and you are. And That's because I, I haven't been out for a while. You know, is been, it? I've been in the coffin for a couple <laughs> of months. Well, you've been tucked away writing your, your music and your, your lyrics for your new album, your own solo album, as, as well as all of this. It's very surprising. Yes, part of the reason we've uh, released this live album at this point is just to give uh, the five of us a, a breather to uh, express ourselves in other ways. How can um, you, but how can you express yourself in a different way? I mean, there is the quintessential Steve Hogarth, isn't it? Um, isn't that the, isn't uh, that the kind of music you want? Uh, no, 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 that is definitely me doing my thing with, with the band. Uh, but you know, when you're when you're a, a band is a double-edged sword because um, when you write together and when you play music together. Um, each of the five people have have an input and are very involved, and so you end up with a, a kind of music which is steering a path uh, of, of common consensus between the four or five artists, or however many there are. Unless you're in the kind of band where somebody's the boss and tells everybody else what to do, and, okay. and Marillion isn't like that. Um, but um, again, if, if you're creative and you have a lot of ideas, you sometimes wish you could be the boss and tell everybody what to do. <laughs> Um, I knew that was going to come out. I had a the, feeling somewhere. Megalomania. <laughs> I know. Uh, and and <laughs> so it's, it's a, doing a solo project is a safety valve because all those things that you thought you wanted to do that kind of didn't quite happen because other people didn't like them or whatever, mm -hmm. you can get them all out, you know, the way you want to do them. It's also an opportunity for me to explore um, a completely different area of music. I'm, I'm hoping to work with musicians from... Uh, Bands like XTC and Japan, and possibly even, um, possibly even the Talking Heads. Oh, hey. uh, so I mean, I, I'm trying to, I'm, tr I'm trying to put together a, a band. Maybe I shouldn't even say this because I, I mean, I haven't found some of these people. Yet. And they'll come running. What do you, you tell <laughs> them? Tell the world. Uh, no, <laughs> speak open my big mouth too soon. But uh, it's, it's, it, I want, I want to make a record which is a, an experiment and which is deliberately in a different universe from Marillion, you know, that is shocking in every way in, in the sense of the musicians, the songs, who's going to produce it. I'm talking to a producer called Craig Leon at the moment who uh, seems to want, you know, he likes the songs I've written. And this is the guy that signed the Ramones to Sire Records and then worked with the Talking Heads and then produced Blondie and the Bangles. So it's an area of music, 
and recently he's been working with a band called The Fall, which are a John Peel's favourite band. Um, it, so they're a very kind of left of centre English band as well. So it, it's it, it's that deliberate desire to, to throw a curve and dive into another pond. Yeah, what's going to happen though if it's so successful that people want you to be performing on your own with uh, you know your own music? Would you ever think of saying goodbye to Marillion? Would you ever consider getting off the road and doing just what you really, really want to do in your life? Well, Marillion is what I really, really want to do too. So it, it, there, are, there wouldn't be that big a conflict. But I, you know, I, I suppose if uh, if the solo album happened to be very big, and and that isn't really an ambition I have either. I I, I don't particularly want to be top of the pops and and ch ch not be able to go out and do all that. I'd rather make interesting music, which is listened to by people who who see it for what it is. I don't want a lot of people down the front row screaming because they, they've seen me on TV ten nights out of ten. Um, and so, but if but if it was to you know surprise me and get airplay and do all that, that would be a dilemma. Um, but I, I think I could fit both in. I mean, Phil Collins managed for quite a few of years be of course. before it got to him. Of course he did. I mean, uh, we're going to hear you in a minute or two, a little later on in the show anyway. What are you going to do? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, you're not singing, or are you singing at the end? What, what is going to happen? At the end, no, we do, uh, we're, going to, um, we're going to do a, a number completely live in the studio, uh, which is um, quite an old song of ours now called Easter, which was inspired by um, W.B. Yeats and is a little love song for the Irish people. You've been in Ireland looking at um, venues, haven't you, for your own soul? Oh, you're you're well, hooked on indeed, Ireland yes. like a lot of, a lot of people who uh, get there. It's a wonderful country, to be sure, it, yes. Yes, you've got the accent off to a T, too. <laughs> this is where most artists head for. To art, Ireland. is it? It's art. You, is, is it art you're after? <laughs> kind of and did you say, yes, it was art you were after? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you'll be welcomed with, as they say, open arms. Um, a Parade of Sunlight was listed in the influential Q magazine's 50 best albums of 95. You could have knocked doesn't it over with a feather. Impress, it does not impress you, does it? No, we, we were not, I was not backwards completely because I thought the press hated us. So uh, when, when, when that happened, we, uh, we all went on to medication for a week. <laughs> yeah, it was a little it, fib. It's, no, it's <laughs> not. It's terrific that, that uh, somebody's finally, I, I don't know, I, I almost got the feeling it was a grudging nod, you know, in the, in the direction of, well, we don't like them yet, but we'd better soften the ground for owning up that we like them in a couple of years' time, you know. Well, they, sh they should be listening to your fans. I mean, where, just before you disappear, and, and go and sing for later. You, you're going to Utrecht, aren't you? You're going, you're going on a big tour. They're all going to be seeing you shortly. Where are you going? We, oh, it's just a little tour, actually. Uh, Utrecht in Holland on uh, Sunday night, which is... No, Monday night, which is the 22nd of April, my mother's birthday. Um, Cologne, uh, the Ewerk in Germany on the 23rd. Paris, La Segal Theatre, down in Montmartre, fantastic, on uh, the 24th, and then London Forum in Kentish Town here on Sunday the 28th. That's it for tonight. Thank you to all my guests. I'll be back tomorrow night, 7.30, NBC Super Channel. But before we go, this is Marillion again, with the title track from their latest album. It's called Made Again. Good night. <laughs>